For this, ladies and gentlemen, is a heavyweight contest. It's a match over eight rounds of five minutes each with two falls or two submissions or a knockout decided. In the blue corner on my right, I ask you to welcome that very stylish mat man from Wakefield, Ray Steele. And in the red corner on my left, his opponent, the Birmingham Battle of the Giant, Pat Roach. And your referee, Max Ward. Max Ward, the referee, a bit worried about the amount of water on the canvas. The two wrestlers, the referee would like the canvas dry. Quite correct too, it's been a very unpleasant accident here for a slip at the wrong place. Anyway, while they're getting the towels, of course it was Ringo Rigby in the end of the last bout that, that uh, lost his cool for the last time, having won the bout 2-0 and threw the water bottle, or the contents, at his opponent. Consequently, soaking the centre of the mat there, which makes it highly dangerous. But they're, they're going anyway. Yes, they're going anyway, over eight rounds, two falls to decide. And uh, Max Ward has decided that it's not too bad there. And he'll watch points very carefully. Pat Roach of Birmingham, six foot four inches, 19 stone 12. The curly headed man with a beard in the black leotard. Ray Steele from Tingley, Yorkshire, now built from Wakefield where he resides, 15 stone 12, exactly four stone lighter than this big giant from Birmingham. Another judo expert here, of course, in the shape of Pat Roach, black belt first Dan. He's won so many Midland and area heavyweight titles and, and one national. Also a former heavyweight boxer. In fact, he was an amateur finalist in the Midland area championships, that too. For the last seven or eight weeks, he's been in Germany in the big German heavyweight, heavyweight tournaments there over here, over the here in Nuremberg and one or two other places. Ray Steele may be giving away four stone here, but he certainly doesn't show it at the moment. Double-handed wrist lever. Steele with the blonde hair and the plain trunks. Double wrist lock in the back hammer position by Steele. Lost it. Pat Roach turned out of it very neatly there, in fact. And knee drop back down, follow down without releasing, but the feet are through the ropes. Roach's specialties. Still getting hit the back, trying a full Nelson on Roach. So I really don't see too much chance of success from that. Can only just reach. Very fine. Double arm, but leave, leaves the left arm. Nice. Opposite arm, leave arm, leave the grapevine on. No, no. Yeah. 
nice quick wrist flick of a whip by Roach. Shows the power in those Roach arms there. Neat way into a backhammer. And his turn now for the double wrist lock, lock off on that backhammer. Follow up with the scissors. One minute to go in the first round of eight. He's got the, the figure four leg lock on, but I don't know what he can get from it. The spirit is very near the ropes. looks down at me as if to say, oh, well, how's he allowed to get away with that? I don't see what he did wrong. And Pat Roach really behaving himself so far this afternoon. Not renowned for avoiding the rule bending situation if he sees his chance, but there he is. He won't face our way. There's this massive man from Birmingham. Looking quite cool and behaving extremely well up to now. How long, oh Lord, how long? Second away, round two. Round two, seven to go, no score. And again, it's the blonde-haired Ray Steele trying to attack this giant from every angle here. Typical Roach moves that arm suplex. <laughs> oh, vicious posting. Kirk threw him up in the air at that corner post. And the first forearm smash, I think, of the the program so far. I don't think we had one in the last part, we certainly have no one in this. It's a bit too early. Ray Steele doesn't weaken that easily. Nice, very nice. Game. And he knows the way he stands back, realizing that his man is down on one knee and on the ropes as well. Imagine Peter Kay doing that in the last part. for a head mayor then, but missed. Double wrist labor. Still that wrist lever on. Nicely, until then. Smashes the road to do the damage and a nice one back by Steele. He's not giving anything away to Roach, despite his proportions. Two, two minutes to go in the second.
Ah, that's lovely. Yes, he really took those cross forearm jabs to the jaw. Highly dangerous. He still can't hold that waist to the right arm down. And back to the double handed wrist lever. And he comes across. This man comes off the ropes. Oh, mistimed that completely roach and Steele got in with his left leg very neatly there to stop him. That was very quick. Just a minute left. Now Roach with the side headlock using the side of his shoulder with his wrestling shoes. Cross press again. But he still can't get that steel right shoulder blade down. Bringing him up quite neatly off the canvas in a reverse side headlock. Still at least getting as good as he gets here. Ten seconds. Trying for a cross buttock, missed it, but on the bell anyway. 